In faith and devotion to Mary, Mother of Good Health, let us encompassing a rich history and a deep connection to our spiritual journey. Let us embark on a journey through time of this beloved figure. The devotion to Mary, Mother of Good Health, traces its origins to the town of Vilankani, located on the southeastern coast of India. It was here that a humble shrine was erected in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The roots of this devotion go back to the 16th century. In the early 16th century, a miraculous event occurred in Vilanka Ni. It is said that the Virgin Mary appeared to a young boy carrying milk to a nearby town. The boy encountered a beautiful lady holding a divine child, and the lady asked for some milk for her child. When the boy returned to his master, he explained the encounter, and they retraced their steps. To their astonishment, they found a small shrine where the lady had appeared. This became the foundation of the devotion to Mary, Mother of Good Health. Over the centuries, the shrine grew in significance, becoming a place of pilgrimage for people seeking healing, solace, and spiritual blessings. The Feast of the Nativity of Mary on September 8 became a major celebration at the site, drawing devotees from all walks of life. Reflection The devotion to Mary, Mother of Good Health, aligns deeply with the Catholic belief in Mary's role as an intercessor and a source of comfort. Throughout the Bible, we find verses that remind us of Mary's unique place in salvation history. Luke chapter 1 verse 28 The Annunciation to comprehend Mary's significance, we turn to the moment of the Annunciation, where the angel Gabriel greeted her with the words, in Luke chapter 1, verse 28, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. These words unveil Mary's unique role in salvation history chosen to bear the Son of God. In her, yes, to God's plan, Mary became the vessel through which humanity would be granted salvation. Her acceptance illustrates the beauty of surrendering to God's will, even when it unfolds in unexpected ways. A beacon of comfort. Throughout the centuries, the shrine at Vilanka Ni has drawn countless pilgrims seeking comfort, solace, and healing. Mary, mother of good health, embodies the compassionate mother who cradles her children in times of distress. Her maternal embrace extends beyond the boundaries of time reaching out to those who seek refuge in her loving care. John chapter 19 verses 26 to 27 The Crucifixion From the foot of the cross, as Jesus hung in agony, he entrusted his beloved disciple John to his mother, saying, Woman, behold, your son. John chapter 19 verse 26 Through these words, Jesus bestowed upon Mary a maternal role not only for John but for all of us, his followers. This act emphasizes Mary's spiritual motherhood and her care for each of us as her children. She becomes the bridge that connects us to the profound sacrifice of her son. Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55 The Magnificat Mary's devotion to God and her humility shine brightly in the Magnificat her song of praise. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55. This canticle is a reflection of Mary's deep understanding of her place in God's plan. Her words echo the Old Testament's song of Hannah, revealing her knowledge of Scripture and her recognition that God fulfills His promises. Through her example, Mary encourages us to magnify the Lord in our lives, to rejoice in His goodness, and to recognize our own part in His story of salvation. A path of healing, the devotion to Mary, mother of good health, has been a beacon of hope for those in physical and spiritual distress. Pilgrims from all walks of life have come to Vilanka Ni seeking healing miracles. The stories of individuals finding solace and recovery through Mary's intercession stand as a testament to the unwavering power of faith and the connection between the human heart and the divine. Intercession and Prayer In times of illness, distress, and uncertainty, we turn to Mary, Mother of Good Health, knowing that she intercedes on our behalf before her Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and Master.
Let us offer our intentions to her with a heartfelt prayer. Dear Mary, Mother of good health, you who have stood by your son's side in his moments of pain and suffering, you have been a source of comfort and healing for countless generations, with humble heart we approach you with our prayers. We ask for your intercession in our times of need, especially for those who are suffering from illness, both in body and spirit. Just as you cared for your son, Jesus, and stood by him in his moments of pain, be with us in our pain, suffering and our burdens. Help us find solace and strength in your maternal embrace. As we journey through life's challenges, may your example of unwavering faith guide us. Conclusion In the quiet sanctuary of Vilanka Ni and within the hearts of believers worldwide, Mary, mother of good health, continues to shine as a beacon of hope, compassion, and healing. May we find in her example the courage to say, yes, to God's plan, the strength to bear our crosses, and the assurance that her intercession brings healing and solace to all who seek her loving embrace. Amen.